to relax. I would, I used to climb street lamps or things like this. I find this quite unusual, but actually it is Elvis Presley. Uh, I was crazy in love with him when I was three years old and I was the whole time dancing on his music. Uh, actually everyone in the family thought I'm going to be a dancer, not a musician. <laughs> well, to be honest, my first choice was the piano, but uh, my mom is a pianist and my parents were actually not quite excited about me becoming a musician. So I had to learn in secret some instruments and my uncle helped me to teach me to play the violin because he's a violinist himself and he had a small violin so we did a couple of lessons in secret and then I showed uh, the little song that I prepared to my parents and finally that's how, how, it, how it worked. The Nielsen has an extremely unique harmony it's something that uh, if you don't know Nielsen, you will find it completely new. And it was actually new to me because I never played anything uh, that he wrote. So I was not very close to his music. The, the harmony I found, uh, it was a new world, you know. And I have to say also the structure of the piece, it's very uncommon. It's uh, not at all like the usual classical concerto uh, structure that we know. Another thing is it is very demanding technically. Definitely you need to, to work a lot on it before the first time you can perform it. My real focus was not to try to make my interpretation stand out. It was more like what can I do which is really the best for this piece. What I want to express with this piece, with every particular piece that I was playing, uh, what is really that I imagine and I want to say with it. So I was actually more focusing on that than um, being uh, in some way standing out or being better than someone else. You know, I had a lot of luck with my teachers until now and still have. Uh, they're all great, so I'm actually quite satisfied. I would also be very happy to could play for Kramer once in my life. You know, it's very special for the competition. First of all, the jury that Nikolai uh, Snyder chose the last time when I was there. I think it was the first year that he was a uh, chairman of the competition. And he made uh, quite an unusual choice. We were performing not only for musicians, but for uh, big agents, for uh, not only for violinists as well, but there was uh, there were another musicians playing different instrument. Uh, there were... Um, chefs of big labels so it is very for me very important to think on that when you make your choice like for who is going to be judging you when you make your choice to go to a certain competition the other thing that I find great is that mm, the jury cannot have their own students playing in the competition uh, which is uh, not always the case so I find it honesty and fairness is very important there for this competition Carlson. the prize I was very happy to do the CD recording with uh, the other symphony, symphony orchestra. I think this is a very great opportunity because it's rare. And nowadays, uh, to, to record with an orchestra is, first of all, very expensive and uh, it's not often to have this chance. So I think this is for me one of the greatest, uh, one of the greatest part of this prize. My friends often say that I can get quite crazy sometimes. You know, to relax, I would. I used to climb street lamps or things like this. But um, I would say an unusual thing is that often I sink when I'm walking on the street. A nice dinner with a good glass of wine and good friends.